All right, so we got the Zing Zang twins, and it turns out the Zing Zang twins don't really have edge education, so they can only count up to eight. <laughs> yeah, they're like, how many people are left? And they can't count, and they just say, oh, it's a lot of people left. It's like, my God, freaking, you try to say if Florida has no learning. Here you go, this. <laughs> Anyways, Master Roshi is just scouting people. He was just looking at their moves, figuring out how to fight them and everything. And then a woman finds them. What? Yeah, we don't even get to know what her name is. But anyways, a woman found him. She strikes. He dodges. He tells her that she's no match. She has no chance. And then she uses her special technique. Seduction. Oh, freak. So it, at first it didn't have an effect, but it did affect him. And I'm like, oh, frick. That, that freaking skill is... It didn't work. Oh my gosh, it didn't work. And well, Elder Kai was like, take it off. Take more of it off. It's kind of weird that we never actually have Master Roshi and Elder Kai talking to each other. Well, before Master Roshi actually changed his ways. It would have been cool to have them both talk to each other before. Anyways, yeah, it's just like dirty old man. Well, she's like, yeah, you're a dirty old man. It's like, well, well, well hold on. It is one thing messed up about the world and girls, period. It's like, you you scold boys, you scold men for looking at you a certain way, but you're dressed this way, or you do something that's like, yeah, you, you sparked that. It's like, no, you did it. Don't call him a dirty old man. You're the one who tried to use seduction. Messed up. Anyways, Roshi was able to regain himself, or heck, he was actually might have just been playing with her, and Roshi actually might finish her off. But he just powers up and she got scared away and she jumped off. <laughs> she just freaking jumped off the freaking thing. What the freaking hell? Then we get the next one. No idea what her name is. Turns out she's part of Universe 4 as well. She's a talisman user. She has 76 attacks with it and 129 illusions with it. So Roshi actually attempts to defend and it turns out she hates bright places and what he does is actually doing a sealing. So he actually has a jar and he's going to seal her evilness in there. So he does it and throws it away. He <laughs> throws it so she's out of bounds and it's game over. The yellow mouse says it's cheating and there's a tussle because Beerus is like, no, it's not cheating. And the Zing Zang twins said it is safe. So he can do that. Anyways, Roshi is okay, and then all of a sudden, this damn kid, his name is actually Ganos. Yeah, this damn kid. For people who don't know, this damn kid is also the same freaking kid who spied for Universe 4 in the earlier episodes, and even kind of led a charge to kill Frieza and Goku. So yeah, I hate this kid so damn much. I'm glad this kid. Anyways, this kid apparently can transform and he turns into like some kind of freaking stupid big chicken. I don't care. The kid pissed me off a little bit. Anyways, Roshi just tusks him aside and well, he's just dodging him, dancing around and well, Roshi actually took him down and blasted him. And apparently the kid just decides to power to freak up and well, he got a hit on Roshi and then he gets multiple hits on Roshi. And apparently, it turns out he's growing, and Roshi actually has to put him asleep. He tries to, but sadly, he actually hits his own self to wake himself up. So he hurt him. He hurt him. So he kept on freaking insulting him after he gets knocked out. He's like, oh, you once were a martial arts master, now you're not. You're an old man. You reached your freaking limit. You think it's a good idea you retire and get out of here. And it's like, freaking hell. This damn kid. And Roshi decides to push his limits, and he was able to freaking blast him with a powerful Kamehameha. And sadly, Master Roshi actually is now out. Well, actually, it turns out he's actually freaking dead. So, we have Goku just trying to freaking use, in quotation, CPR the panels to wake him up. And I think at this point, we get something interesting where Goku's Super Saiyan, or a blue Super Saiyan form, was able to just heal him. I don't know. It was able to just heal him. I think that's what happened. And Beerus was like, I want to know the name of this man. And his name is Master Roshi. So 
he actually got honored by. All right, one thing I need to talk about before I leave is Goku was dealing with a liquid monster, and I didn't even know that that was what was going on. So there we go with that, and Goku actually did help Master Roshi. You know, he's back alive, and he's back. So there we go. 30 more, 34 more minutes until this ends, the tournament. So there we go, and on to episode 106.